Everybody, what's up? So they just dropped the uh, the updated sneak peek. I saw a little bit of it in game, and then I saw the announcement in Discord where they dropped this video. So uh, I figured we'd watch it together. I haven't watched it yet. I have no idea what's in it. So, um, you know, it's, just, it's been a minute since I've gotten to do this, and I wanted to do it. So we're going to do it. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Hey, guys. As some of you may have noticed, we've not been able to deliver our What's Next in Raid videos as often as we'd have liked recently. Love the B-roll of doesn't mean we don't have a lot of cool someone things working in the on works. A, and that's what this video is all about. Great. We're going to give you a sneak peek at a few things that are coming to Raid in the very, very T -posing, future. dude. Let's dive in. First up, Heroes Path events. These extra special events give everyone branching choices of reward paths, and it's down to you to decide which path or paths you want to head down. If you've got your eyes on something special, you can pick the quickest route to get your hands on it, picking up a bunch of other goodies along the way. Here's how they work. Heroes Path events will combine a bunch of activities and game modes, like raiding dungeons for artifacts, upgrading your gear, leveling up your champions, mm -hmm. and... Well, you know the deal. Yeah, we As do. You complete those activities, you'll earn. We're hero very rewards, familiar with the which events. In turn, you'll use however you see fit to unlock rewards and get keys to explore those reward paths. Every path will eventually lead to the event's most valuable, prestigious reward, and you'll be able to get extra keys and hero coins to unlock the other reward paths too. So don't stress over your decision. You can't really lose out or miss out. Our first hero's path event will be dedicated to the summer solstice and will be called the Path of Light event. You'll be collecting light coins to get your hands on some amazing rewards. We're pretty sure you're going to love these events, but like every time we release something new, we'll be looking for your feedback oh. once they're locked. <laughs> I thought he was going to be like, but like every time we release something new, you guys are going to bitch and complain about it for two or three months until we change it. <laughs> um, this is cool. I think this is pretty cool. I hope, I do hope there's a little bit of diversity in the events aside from our normal events. But I think it's a cool idea. Seems like a free way to get more stuff. I'm waiting to find out if there's a price tag to this, but it seems like a free way to get more stuff, which I've is nice. Tweak and shape them for the future. Aside from Heroes Path events, we have a few quality of life improvements in the works as well. Okay. The first is something that's been heavily requested: Hydra Battle Regrouping. You can already do this from inside a battle, but we're now adding the same functionality to the battle results screen. Good. After every battle, you we'll now have a choice between keeping the result and losing that Hydra key, or trying again to that's fight a great, for a better score. That's a great addition. You'll be thrown back to team selection, where you'll get to tweak your team and take on the Hydra That's once a great again. addition, dude. Next up, Tag Arena Improvement. We're introducing an inactivity penalty, similar to what we have in Classic Arena. Anyone who doesn't carry out 10 offense battles per week will be demoted to a lower tier. Okay. Keep those sweet high tier rewards. You got to fight for them. This one's a small change, but we think it'll make a big difference. Okay. Help free up space for climbing the tiers. For it the will, tag arena in players. theory, okay. but you did that with Arena and it ruined Arena. Now bronze and silver are in real bad shape. So... Also, can we take away the weekly advancement? Can you just make it where we can advance in Tag Arena? Can we stop this shit? Can we stop this shit, dude? Uh, I'm, I'm glad they're paying attention to it, but I don't know if that's the fix. I feel like that did nothing positive for Arena. So I don't know why it would do anything positive for Tag Team Arena, but I guess we'll see what happens. Okay, here. artifact and accessory upgrades. Watching that upgrade bar slowly tease us with a successful upgrade, only to flicker out into failure, isn't exactly our favorite part of the game either. So we're doing something about it. We're releasing an instant upgrade option. <laughs> Shout out to uh, skip all five stuff on this one, dude. Entirely. The game will automatically simulate all the attempts required. He, he's the reason the this is happening. Will still happen Just so we're all clear. Attempt by attempt, with a certain success chance per try. Would I guess they had enough painstakingly watch the drama. I guess they had enough of being embarrassed that a, just a member of the community made software for the game that's better than anything they've ever done. They're like, you know what? Time to start stealing some of his ideas. Unfold in front of your eyes anymore. Unless you just really, really want to. What they really ought to do is just One give him some money. We go. Champions and, and make we promised we'd keep working uh, on our RSL helper and our part next of the game. Champion is the queen of the oversized hammer herself. Let's go, dude. Trunda Gilt Mollet. 
Keep your eyes open for a chance to get your hands on her amazing ice drake and incinerous skins. And that's it for today. As always, we hope you guys enjoyed the They're taste cool. of what's They to are come. cool. Leave your comments below. They're hit cool. Like and subscribe. I do want to see some bigger changes with, with these skins coming up. I like what they're doing. They look great. But I want to see this art team go wild, dude. I know, I know they can do bigger changes to champions than they're doing. Not that those don't look cool. I'm not saying those aren't cool. But like, I want full changes. I want, you know what I'm saying? I want different models. I want different looks for these champions eventually. So maybe maybe we'll get to that soon. It's cool though. They're doing a lot of good things. It seems like we're 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 circling back around to uh the good phase. You know what I mean? Playroom gets in this little pocket where they'll do a bunch of really good things, and then for a few months we gotta put up with a bunch of bullshit. It seems like we're circling back around <laughs> into the good stuff. So uh that's good. This will be nice. This seems very promising. It's, promising it seems like they got a, got a lot of good things planned that hero's path thing assuming there's no paywall on it is great right if you're, if you're just getting more stuff for playing the game fantastic i don't think anybody is going to really have a problem with that so um seems good it seems all relatively positive um so i reckon we will just see <laughs> We'll see how it all goes, but that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Is there anything you're particularly excited about here? Uh, is, what are your thoughts on the tag arena thing? Yeah, let me know where you guys are at with all this. Um, I'm going to get out of here. Appreciate y'all. Later.